so uh the thing which actually uh bothers me uh, i would not say bother me uh, something which confuses me a lot is when i hear a lot of about different types of training right you might have heard about resistance training then comes strength training compound training so many trainings like what is it like yeah, someone I, to know about for a layman's point of view hmm. so basically there are two types of training you can do. now is all the other kind of training can branch out from that but two types of training one is resistance training and the other would be cardiovascular training yeah uh, resistance training you would more mainly train your muscles cardiovascular training you would train your heart heart is also a muscle but it requires like flow of oxygen to be trained and you know, pumping so it's like another muscle you have to train so all the other trainings are derived from these uh, so from resistance training we can go to like high intensity interval training now that can be cardio or resistance training so the thing is these things are very relative you can make a training however you want like it depends on your preferences and the thing is once you know how to make your own training you don't really define your training to any of these things it's oh. like very relative you, you you kind of pick and choose from each and every training right exactly yes so, and all kinds of training are important one is not better than the other so for example uh, if i talk about resistance training so what is the core principle like behind it it's how we put our muscles through resistance yes yes like any motion you take you, like uh, the motion of your pec or shoulder is to push so pecs uh, your triceps and shoulders are used for pushing things you, yeah. you don't pull anything from your back or bicep oh, okay so, that's what we call resistance training yes so you, in your pulling motion you would just add some resistance some weight and uh, you would do that for resistance training you just go through the motion of the muscle with some resistance and as you get stronger you increase the resistance the thing is you can use this to increase your heart rate too if you do it like for a long period of time and this can convert into a cardiovascular training too so it depends on how you're doing it okay so for example if i talk about cardiovascular disease where you said the heart is a muscle and mm-hmm. we need to i guess learn how to make our heart pump pump uh, blood efficiently like, like how like what 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 all functions come into it it's just the more you use it the better it gets you know it also depends greatly on your diet uh, actually like even muscle health heart health all depend greatly on a diet so mainly like people say don't eat fat for healthier heart health but that's yeah. totally wrong you should eat healthy fats you know like the nuts the cashews and almonds they, they have a lot of fat but they're okay. quite healthy yeah so for heart healthy you need them and you need it to use regularly because i know many people who do resistance training who lift regularly but their cardiovascular health is absolute shit they, they don't train it at all and any form of cardiovascular exercise works like swimming playing sports maybe football and stuff okay so it's it's kind of a balance between resistance training and cardiovascular one yes yes so, unless you are a professional athlete and you want to train only for bodybuilding or only for powerlifting yeah and you don't care about your cardiovascular health and preparing for cardiovascular would waste your time then yes ignore it because it's a profession but if you're a normal person you should focus on both okay okay so i just want to talk about like you said and maybe in the first part or second part where you said you are now functioning more on strength training and yes, strength yes. training is also a part of resistance training yes i mean but with more resistance strength, yes you obtain strength through resistance okay so how i do it is i do very less repetition uh, let's say a normal person who wants to get bigger and look good would do 8 to 12 repetitions with any exercise i would do a uh, three reps of anything like if i do a squat i would do three but the weight would be extremely heavy because i'm focusing on producing a lot of force in a very small amount of time okay that's kind of a strength one but what about functional one like functional training now, functional training depends on what your function is let's say your function is to play football then functional training is different for you 
so it's very relative like uh, i've trained some volleyball players here, so i make their shoulders stronger and that's functional training for them because well their function is to uh, punch the ball harder you know and mm-hmm. i train their core for stronger balance so it it is relative but mm-hmm. overall as people who go just go to office their function is to walk and be healthy have a good sex life which can be obtained like it's not a very hard aim to do just yeah, yeah, some yeah. strengthening and cardiovascular training to so, be a balance that, so yeah that's how like everything is <clears throat> derived from it right mm-hmm. so yeah, yeah. something which actually uh, kind of confuses me when a lot of big words come in my mind right in terms of diet so for example like keto diet right paleo diet and yeah. so many diets i mean like so a, a person like me who knows nothing about or knows a little about diet and yeah. fitness like it, it completely uh, fucks my mind like what is keto yes yes yeah okay so let's start with uh, let's start with aims uh, yeah. what people aim through these diets their aim is to lose weight mostly uh, to through these diets yeah and what i would say is these diets are not special in itself they do not make you lose weight only calorie deficit which is eating less than you burn than you require a day uh, makes you lose weight but these diets are a method of going into a calorie deficit let's say keto diet what they say is your body becomes extremely efficient in burning fat once you're on a keto diet which is true because you're eating mostly fats in a diet and your body is constantly breaking it down and once you're on a calorie deficit the body is much more efficient in breaking down the fat in your body because it's used to it it makes sense but people kind of forget that they still have to be in a calorie deficit this diet is not magic they have to still eat less uh in most probably you uh, intermittent fasting actually fasting works because you're not eating all day and you're eating one meal in a day and of course you're not going to eat that much so you, you will be in a calorie deficit so these things are tools to go in a calorie deficit the only thing they require is to go in a calorie deficit okay so it's a different process to take a person yes. in a calorie deficit stage you exactly. can either go from a keto diet you can or either go from diet, yes. or normal diet or intermittent fasting right that exactly. way you just take fast for about 16 hours yeah eat for 8 hours but i mean you can eat ice creams all day and be in a calorie deficit and still lose weight it's just not very healthy for your body but you would still lose weight if you're in a calorie deficit the laws of thermodynamics will hold up okay yeah that's kind of so uh, like where i see on youtube where i see a lot of people say that they kind of equate losing weight with all these diets that how you yes. lose right but to lose weight is calorie deficit that's all like there is no other way you can exercise all you want but if you don't work on your diet you are not going to lose a single pound maybe some pound some kilograms because of water weight and you dehydrated but not going to yeah. lose any weight unless you focus on the right amount of nutrition yeah that that's what i'm saying right where we mm-hmm. have a destination of losing weight and the process is just calorie deficit and we have different exactly. we have different places from where we can go but the yes, way the yes, people yes. project that this is how keto can make you lose the weight yes exactly and i do not like that and i feel like actors and celebrities and youtubers have a great role in doing that because they glorify these diets too much yeah and uh, people think yes i like you know i found the way like this is the one simple technique and stuff you know and yeah they go for it they get disappointed and even if you lose by keto let's say you do keto for a month right you lose 5 kilograms for example uh it's not going to stay like that because how long do you think you can stay in a ketogenic diet how long do you think you can avoid carbs in your life they are essential part of you need glucose your brain needs glucose and okay. the best diet is a diet you can follow all your life 
okay it's not keto or paleo you can customize your own diet but if you follow it every day and you don't mind eating that every day that's the best diet oh, okay for it, main thing is like you have a, a certain amount of calories which you, you should consume whether you consume yeah. from keto or whether you consume from paleo whether you have your own diet mm-hmm. yeah. that that matters yeah. right if someone yeah. does not want because sometimes what i feel right where i mentioned you in second part i guess regarding how maybe i i told you about this or not how food kind of torment us it's mm. where it should actually make you enjoy the process yeah. that yeah. not eating this particular thing not eating that not eating this kind of yeah. torments you about nutrition in my yeah. mind that's what i think yes so, but the thing is it's not very really hard to follow a diet uh if you have realistic goals i mean If you think from tomorrow all I'm going to do is eat two apples and drink a glass of water of course you're going to fail in a week you you need realistic goals let's say you eat four breads in a day you change it by just eating three a day and do it for a week you get used to this do two breads in a day you know just as an example to decrease so slowly that you don't even notice it and like because if you lose your weight slowly you keep it off forever like you change oh. your physiology and your body type if you do like these fat diets lose them fast it comes back like as soon as you go back to normal diet okay yeah so that's how uh, gate uh, gain weight also goes right if you gain your weight slowly and steadily all through natural means it'll stay with you for forever i guess exactly yes it's like so physiological changes and they stay with you and you everything in your body is adapted according to the weight you have become now but if you don't go through that process you do it fast fast it's mostly water weight most if you like gain weight very fast yeah, mostly yeah. bloated it's uh, like you can't expect fast results on these things because it really takes a lot of time for these changes to happen okay yeah yeah I, I, it's my personal uh, personal experience also while you gain weight all through natural means all through consuming natural food and then how you don't relapse back to your previous stage that quickly so main if i take about like someone do you want to uh, share your experience for example for any beginner who might be listening here just to lose weight okay. right okay what he or lose she can mm-hmm. okay so let's uh... Let's start with lose weight. So if you want to lose weight, the, I would say everything is what you eat. Yeah. And the thing is, you don't have to be hungry all the time. It's, I mean, yes, you have to get used to the feeling of hunger. It's, uh, it, it's not a very unfamiliar feeling. Most of us have had it, but we have to go through it and be like, okay, I'm hungry. That's it. I'm not going to die. But you don't have to be very hungry. The okay. thing is, you have to eat like an optimum amount of nutrition to survive and function and yeah. still be in a calorie deficit so i would say in beginning if you want to lose weight don't just go for it in beginning just track what you're eating every day just just write it down okay. for a week do that don't don't decrease anything is everything you put in your mouth anything like a glass of apple juice yes you write it down you write those things down for a week right and then you analyze what you really eat how much do you eat and then start making changes in that like slowly decrease let's say you eat four breads and a glass of orange juice can you avoid drinking orange juice for breakfast sure if you can do that avoid orange juice or if you can just eat two breads do that you know like make very small changes which you can live with and you will lose it forever okay and if you want to exercise of course it will help you because while you're losing weight you lose all the weight not just the fat you lose your muscles too so it would be nice to exercise to maintain that muscle mass because muscles are very important for the body as they are responsible for all the motions okay uh, and like for your day to day lives you'll feel better you'll feel stronger so add some light exercises if you don't want to go to the gym if you don't like gyms you can just go for a sprint like run very fast uh, some push ups and a pull up bar it's perfect like all you need is that nothing else okay But if you want to take it to next level you want to get you know uh, get stronger while losing weight the thing is beginners are very lucky in this they have this uh, magical time uh, and it is truly magical 
for first two months uh, when you begin you can lose fat and gain muscle at the same time uh, but after two months this does not happen because to gain muscle you have to be in a calorie surplus and to lose fat you have to be in a calorie deficit yeah but it uh, it doesn't happen but in beginners it it somehow happens that they can gain muscle and lose fat at the same time because their body is like very new to this thing you know and yeah. it adapts very fast so yeah. they should use it so uh, yeah for example if someone wants to start doing gyms and for for a person like me who has a little bit of fat so mm-hmm. i can actually lose very quickly within 2 months and gain my muscle mass within 2 months yes yes if you are a beginner of course but the but the problem will start when i'll be like continuous to the gym where yes, yes, yes. i have to body. gain i have to gain my muscle mass by being in calorie surplus yes. but on the other hand i don't want to have my ba- the belly fat or the fat to grow yes. for that i have to be in calorie yeah. de- deficit deficit yes yeah. the <laughs> thing is if you gain weight to increase your muscle mass you will gain some fat um, it's not possible that you gain pure muscle uh, yeah and yeah, but it's okay it's very little and if you eat relatively clean it's going to be mostly muscle but you eating if you're eating pizzas and burgers of course you'll gain a lot of fat too right yeah i understand i understand yeah so like for example someone who have to uh, like not bulk but someone who just have to gain weight mm, yeah like just yeah. from uh, yeah. from the perspective of he or she mm. just do simple exercises the one you just you yeah. said but running doing pull ups doing push ups right for them just to gain weight how they can be in calorie surplus so surplus uh, for me personally is easy but i i have train people for them it's very hard to eat a lot of food i understand that and the thing is you, again it's so process you have to increase it very slowly you have to track what you do and increase it slowly and if some people are hard gainers as they say but i think they say like i eat a lot but i don't gain and I, this is maybe a controversial opinion but I just don't think they don't eat enough uh, just uh, the thing they do and if they track it down for a week they'll see how much they truly eat and then they can say yes I eat this much but uh, they can use liquid calories if they're hard gainers like milk and juices and stuff because these things are they make you full for a while but you can be hungry again very fast yeah. and this is just a way to be in a calorie surplus it's one technique there are so many other techniques you can do okay uh, i mean some people don't like to eat meat you can change it to lentils and stuff there's so many techniques yeah. just liquid calories is my it's the one i recommend to people because you know it's easy to drink and it's a lot of calories definitely definitely so i think like uh, just to address each and every type of bulking method is kind of difficult over here do you mind like if i share your email address in description so that people who can yeah. reach out to you where they can just ask okay. simply like yeah, uh, any questions they, just any, direct it to me yeah i'll actually have your instagram id also in the description so that it's much easy for them okay. but kind of we actually discussed a lot about not lot but in general just for a layman to understand what like different types of training is what different types of uh, exercises for a beginner what mm-hmm. he or she should do just to lose weight and gain weight right so anything you would like to okay. add before i wrap up yes okay so if you are beginning uh, to go to the gym uh, uh, how i would I, w- i would advise you to start with a barbell everyone has seen those there are dumbbells there is a big board called a barbell and you can do these five exercises and these are the only exercises you need to do uh, and progress in these exercises and it works for whole body and they are fun uh, and they are very useful for every part one would be the deadlift it works all your posterior chain which is your back your glutes your legs literally every part of the body okay uh, second would be the squat it works mainly your lower body but also your traps because you're holding weight on your back yeah uh, third would be the bench press that would work your pushing motion your chest your shoulders your triceps that will work that so uh, whether whether it can be like incline decline or flat 
yeah, yeah. But, I mean, those are now variations of the bench press. The main is like the normal bench press. Okay. Right? And if you want, you know, you want to have fun someday, you want to change things up, yeah, do a decline, you know, uh, or do an incline. Like yeah. even squat, you can do like uh, a split squat. Uh, you can change these things. Yeah. But uh, it's a, it depends on you or your trainer, how he writes the program. Uh, and the fourth exercise would be the military press. And if you push the barbell up. Oh, yeah. It, it's uh, an excellent exercise. It's for your shoulders and triceps again, upper chest. And the fifth would be the pull-up. Pull-ups. And these five exercises, yes. If you can't do pull-ups, just people say I'm too heavy. I can't do it. I was 100 kilograms. I, I used to do pull-ups. It's not it's just practice. You have to keep doing it with some resistance band or something. Uh, but these five exercises are the ones you need. And that's all. You can add more and that's good, of course. But if you have limited time, you do these five exercises three times a week, four times a week if you can. That's awesome. Uh, and that's it. You'll see the changes in your mood uh, and how you look and everything. Uh, for example, uh, this is these five exercises which you just told me. It kind of goes with both the people who want to lose the weight or who want to gain the weight. It goes for both of them, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Both. Okay, that's cool. I that's would cool. Say all population, yes. And people think maybe if they're aging, they're getting older, they can't do these. And another thing I would like to add is please, when you do these exercises, please learn the correct form since they can cause injury if you don't do it correctly. And I'm not scaring you guys, it's just you have to learn the form before. You can't just start adding weights. You have to perfect the form with an empty barbell. Once you do that, it takes about a week or maximum two weeks. Then you can start adding weights and having some fun with it. But okay. yeah, for old people, mostly think they shouldn't work out, they're uh, weaker, but it's very beneficial if old people work out because aging is a degradation of muscle. And if you build more muscle, it's going, it has like an anti-aging effect. Oh, yeah. Got you. But for example, I uh, just wanted to ask uh, that, so what kind of repetitions, what kind of sets, like does, does it change when it comes, if in my mind, if I just yes. have to g- gain muscle weight, do my repetition yes. changes, do my sets changes? How much? Yes. Okay. So there are different areas. So if you want strength, uh, the rep range is from one to three or four maximum. This is only for strength. If you want to look good, uh, hypertrophy, like you want to be bigger, uh, bigger and like look awesome in the beach or something, the rep range would be from four to eight or ten. That's the rep range. Any rep above that is basically cardiovascular exercise. You work with your heart more. So yeah, these are the rep ranges you take. Okay, so uh, like. Oh. How much sets do we uh, add into it? For- it depends totally on your program, but uh, the like the muscle growth depends on the volume of the work you've done. Volume means uh, sets multiplied by reps multiplied by weight. Yeah. So the amount of total work you did for uh, a body part will determine how big it gets and how strong it gets. And the more volume we collect, the bigger and stronger it gets. Okay, okay. Yeah. And same goes for the people who want to lose weight also? Yes, yes. Same. I mean, losing weight is mostly diet. And you can exercise to burn some calories. And, yeah. But it, it won't matter if you just start eating more. But uh, in the end, goal is calorie deficit. But if you eat more, I'm sorry, if you exercise more, you have burned some calories and now you require more calories in that day to survive. So you can eat a bit more, you know, or if you don't eat, you will be in more calorie deficit. Uh, This is how you can use exercise for losing weight. But in the end, it's just calorie deficit. But yeah, you can, same exercises if you want to lose weight. Actually, I would prefer them to more more focus on maintaining their muscle mass while they're losing weight. Completely agreed, completely agreed. So I think a, a lot of, may, maybe we might have not uh, addressed a, a lot of problems, but what we have done is we have tried to touch a lot of aspects, which a lot of people knew and maybe 
they had this some misconceptions about it some uh, a lot of different think thinking a lot of perspective a lot of a different perspective about it but what we have done is we have tried to touch it and it was amazing uh, to have a podcast with you i will yes. be looking forward to have another podcast right yes, yes for sure yeah my phone temperature went too high so i had to come in it i had a warning <laughs> okay yeah not yeah. a problem not a problem so yeah. thanks a lot abhishek no problem man it was fun